Hello everyone, welcome to The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5. This is the season finale. So, big things are probably in store. I'm expecting maybe 25 to 50% of the cast to die. We'll see what happens. Alright. We uh, ended on quite a cliffhanger last time, with that gunfight. So, let's see what happens. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Draco! Who did you shoot it? I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't move! Don't move! I said don't move! Everybody be cool! I'm gonna have to make decisions right now, aren't I? Ah, son of a bitch! Actually, no, looks like there's only one way to go right now. Baby, baby! To the baby! Hey! What are you doing? Well, shit, no one's gonna freaking shoot the baby, are they? No one would shoot a baby, would they? That's insane. Oh, get behind the wall! Get behind the wall! And the baby's not gonna freeze to death in 10 seconds, so... Keep your head down. Then again with a shotgun... Oh, shit! He's safe. He got me in the leg, but I think, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. Right, well, we're not quite done yet. You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut up! I'm not gonna say anything. Leave him alone, Kenny. He's just a kid. No, I'm ending this. Get out here right fucking now. This is my shield, but dash. I'd be surprised if he cares. Get out here. 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 Okay, I've got a gun. I've got a gun. No!
She came back. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Maybe she ran away Jesus to the town Christ. and then heard the that shooting. Was, uh, that was intense. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks. For coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. I didn't think it would be. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. She doesn't have to stay with us. You can still leave, you know. There's nothing holding you here. I sort of wish that was true. Let's go. How did this happen? She turned, just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She would have been a good mom. Yeah. Yeah, she would have. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. Kenny? You piece of shit! Hey, hey! God damn it, Kenny. Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. He's just a scared kid, man. He wasn't the one shooting at us. That guy's dead. Just because he don't have a gun doesn't mean he wouldn't have. Well, he didn't, so leave him alone. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. We need supplies. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. Don't blame her for what these people did. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. 
When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. But he's lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! Wait, we need to stop. No, no, I'm I'm fine. Okay, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Yeah, if I think he gets it. Good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. Probably gonna need some antibiotics. How did we get here?
Try not to think about it. Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with, just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? It don't make any sense. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, cleaning, mostly. I'm trying to guess how far this place is. Okay, come is. on, stop with the macho shit. I'd like to get off this leg sooner than later. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. A what? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen, and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. <sighs> okay. Bad a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. It seems fitting. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I got a whole bottle Bonnie. of pain. I told her I'm fine. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. I'm actually kind of scared to look. Oh, God. Oh, I have to peel it off. Uh, Alright, here we go. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'll be fine, darling. Gonna take a lot more than a couple smacks with the radio to take me out. Well, the area around his eye looks really, really painful, but I can't even see his eye itself. But I don't think he's gonna see out of it again, is he? Because you probably can't be sure until the swelling goes down or whatever, but yeah, probably not. Whoops. Don't worry. I messed it up. Can't be that bad. So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. Yeah, you're going to want to put the baby down. Let's do it. So, this is going to hurt like hell. And uh, maybe well, put the stick in between your teeth. No, like, seriously, you should put the baby down, because you're probably going to drop him. <laughs> All right, here we go. Holy fucking hell. You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Ah. Uh. Sorry about the language, Junior. 
You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, does that smart. He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. Yeah, that shouldn't have been the case. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. <sighs> Thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. <laughs> Neither would Neither. I. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Pretty much. Here, I got them. Larval humans. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> One of the options there, by the way, was take it. Like it. Like it's a thing. Take this object out of my hands. This sack of flour. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Uh, how can well, you tell? happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. How can you even tell? Been keeping track of the days. Been a few times I wasn't sure I'd see my next birthday. Well, you did it. Guess that's, uh, worth celebrating. 
So that makes you what? Twenty seven? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. <laughs> Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. Was saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Hmm. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well... Was... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. I can take it. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. <laughs> hey. <laughs> all, right. all right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you're talking it's about. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, yes. That, that oh, Clementine. Exactly Was there any kissing? <laughs> you shut your mouth right now. The both of you. <laughs> Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Oh, I'm totally gonna take a swig of that for myself. Please tell me I can. They'll never know. Can I? This stuff shows up over here, but I'm pretty sure you can't use it. 
Yeah, I don't think I can. Damn it. Holy crap, this camera behind the fence is like the worst camera angle possible. It's so annoying. Here we go. Okay, that's better. Uh... I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Yeah, and the baby should probably be by the fire, too. I mean, he's on watch, so if you see something, like, he should be able to react to it and not have to deal with the baby. Want a drink? I guess that's a no. There, there, little guy. I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clam. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. For my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... you know... be around. Why? Because you made it with Luke? <laughs> what does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? really good. Have you had any? Want to sip? It's okay. Hell yes, I do. Um, sure. It's gonna taste like shit, of course. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really 
spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get out of it. <laughs> oh my god. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Mm -hmm. It was not sugar candy. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. Oh my it's god. It's never really been a problem for me. <laughs> Keep it that way. My sister found me drunk blood pouring out of my mouth Ew. Jamie thought I was dying so she called 911 they pumped my stomach got grounded for six months holy shit I haven't thought about that in a long time I guess a deal's a deal here Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. See how Arvo's doing. Hopefully he's dressed uh, well enough. Or Jane, maybe you don't not? have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Whoa. Shh, shh. All right, enough of that. Hey, you Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So, I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! Please, Stephen. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really? I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I... If I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? 
It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. I can't be much further. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! 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 Jesus Christ. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. American? Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Did Kenny seriously say speak American? <laughs> he, was, he was joking, right? I hope so. But then again, I mean, it is Kenny. Maybe he wasn't. Okay, let's try not to die here. We're okay. Don't worry. I mean, if anyone's gonna fall through, it's probably not gonna be Clem. We got some walkers behind us. That's no, only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! <gasps> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you Don't drown, run! You piece don't of shit. run! No! Kenny! Don't run! Well, they made it. Oh, shit. Don't come over here. Uh, hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. Lay down flat, sure? maybe? Yeah. Would that work? I have no idea. It would spread your weight. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. too thin for both of us. I just... I just gotta be careful. Oh! Luke, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, you're not! I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke! The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No! Clem, you're gonna go! Fall through. Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him. You're light. You Stop can do it. Stop telling her that! Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Claim you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Clem, just cover him. Just cover him. It's too dangerous. Thanks. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. You're not gonna make my it. Legs. My, my leg. It's, 
Hold on, I got you. Rest a sec. Keep him off us, Clem. No, no, it's too much. Too much weight. Shut the fuck up. Go back. I can save you. You're both killed. Come on. Stop. I got you. That is not a good idea. Fuck. What the hell can you even do? Luke! It's too late. No, it's not. Nothing more you can do. Oh, shit. I got you. No. I got you. Come on, come on. Come on. You're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get them warm. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. The ice. It was too thin. I just... Once that ice started to go, there was nothing any of us could do. You could have... You could have helped him. I did Don't help him. to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Go, Shut the man. fuck up and make what? a fire. It's nobody's damn fault! I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. Fucking commie piece of shit! Oh my god, Kenny. Fuck you. You mother! Fuck the fuck, Kenny! Kenny, stop it! Just stop. Lose your taste for this sort of thing? What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault. And you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? These hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? I thought I had matches. You kept it.
Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this... this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? None of your business. Look, Clem, that Russian got Luke killed. You saw that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go.